here we're going to show a hamstring stretch. Hard to say. Sandra's going to do it very easily though. So Sandra, will you place that around your foot? When you do this, you need to put it around the ball and toes of the foot. And then you need to adjust the band depending on how long your legs are and how tight the band is. So we're going to start with your leg down, Sandra. And what Sandra is going to do is just lift her leg up. Now you'll notice that her knee is straight and her toes are pointing towards her head. The way to cheat on something like this would be to bend the knee. You no longer feel it, do you, Sandra? No. Or the knee will be straight and then if you let the toes point, again, you no longer feel it. Great. So now what we're going to do is toes up towards your head, Sandra. We're going to add some resistance to that hamstring so that it can stretch a little bit further. It's a neurological trick and it works beautifully for the body. So with the knee straight, toes pointing towards your head, you're going to activate the hamstring, which is the muscle at the back of the leg, by pulling against the band. And you're going to do that for about 5-10 seconds. You're then going to let the hamstring relax and just pull the leg further up. And you'll find that it will go further. Fantastic, Sandra. Now, Sandra's really bendy, and lots of you will not be able to get this far. But we're just going to see if she can take it even further. So ideally, you would hold this stretch for about 20 seconds. What we're going to do now, Sandra, is I'd like you to activate that hamstring again. So pull on that band and bring the leg down so that you feel the hamstring react. And you're going to hold that again for about 10 seconds. And you're going to relax that hamstring and bring the leg up again as far as you can without bending the knee or letting the toes rise. Yeah, she's got it even further. Great demonstration. Thanks, Sandra.